Um, it's nice to have little snacks at home when you're watching the game, whatever that game may be. Maybe you're enjoying your hockey. You have gone the extra mile, okay? So using our favorite cracker, a cracker you many know, people love. It's just something that everyone has in their in their dry pantry at pantry, home, right? Yeah. And uh, I put these together, and I was kind of like, this would be cool, and that'd be cool. But then last night, I'm like, try oh, I'm like, what is going on? This is Pile so them. good. Pile them back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It was fantastic. Okay, so this these are all the things you're gonna make: double smoked bacon wrapped Ritz cheeseburgers, Whoa. ultimate BLT Ritz, yeah. a Ritz king crab bomb with sauce remoulade, <sighs> and a croque monsieur. Oh, the croque monsieur is oh, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, we get so cute. everything. So I, I really don't know where to start. I mean, we can start with the mini cheeseburgers. Let's so do the cheeseburgers. When I was putting these up together, you know, I just uh, I just had to eat a few. And so game day, it's kind of perfect because you can have the people over. Yeah. So we make little meatballs. Yeah, just teeny, right? teeny like tiny. Like little one ounces, like, you know, like kind of the same size as a loonie or something. And you're going to wrap it in bacon? You ready? But this isn't any kind of bacon. This is double smoked European style bacon. So it's almost like prosciutto. Like it's kind of cured yeah. and cooked right now. Okay. So what you need to do is just, dang, and we're using our hands, you know, we yeah. get messy. Just Kind of put it in the palm of your hand. Because it's going to be like a little, a little slider. Bit, a little slider. And then, you know, you just like, you know, it's not that you're ugly or anything, but we're just going to cover you up. Right? And wrap we're going to give up. you a nice little like that. covering of bacon, so, a little bacon know, dress. A little bacon. That's exactly There's nothing it. wrong you know, with it's that. It's cold, so it's a bacon toque. Oh, that's nice. Right? And then straight into the pan, just like okay. that. You really don't need anything else. I seasoned the beef actually with um, ketchup and mustard. Oh, so okay. So we don't need to put that on later on because we want to keep it pretty like, crisp. And so you got all the flavors in there. So the flavor there. profile is in there and that should be good time. So the bacon fat will come out and that'll kind of fry the beef up. Just a little bit of salt and pepper, kind of like the treat. Yes. All right, so okay. as that's going around, we're going to go to the croque monsieur. Yes, Ready? let's do this it. This is like, I don't even know why it's so delicious because I expected it to be delicious. Yes. But then it came out like, Next oh my level. God, delicious. <laughs> yeah. So I got some uh, just deli ham, to be honest with you, but I got the, the good stuff, like the porchetta kind of thing with some herbs and something. You just don't want it too wet. Right. Cut it up into fours, kind of stack it there, right? Okay. And Trace, just go behind me and put some Dijon mustard on there. You got it, chef. What you're looking for is a, is a mustard with some, some kick to it and a yeah. little bit of vinegar. I kind of like the grainy one because it gives it a bit more texture. So do I. But that's going to be that hidden kind of like what is going on. It's going to give it some bite. Yep. And like, think about it, this, this stuff is actually quite easy. It's all about the assembly. If you've got people coming over, you just need to time it so that you're making this as soon as they walk in the door because you want the cheese to be freshly melted. Are you ready for this? Yeah. So we're going to go one cheese in the middle and then yep. one cheese on top because, you know, the croque monsieur, you kind of need that. It's just basically a ham and cheese. But yeah. when you have two different types, the one on top is going to be the ooey gooey. Yes. And then the middle one's going to be more your flavor kind of style. Nice. You following me? I'm following you. So then we do this <laughs> and uh, chuck that into your broiler. Okay? I'm getting excited. I don't know how you guys are. Right? And normally when I have a, a people over for game day and, you know, I get everyone ready, I just kind of like pull stuff out and everyone's in the kitchen, right? And it's like, what? Oh, God. You know, see that kind of like nothing? And then, you know, oh, you take it a step the further. The getting started. Right? You know, just like back off because people start grabbing it. Right. It's not really good. Now just slow down. Look, look at this. You just what is oh, the story? My gosh. Right? Okay, so all using um, these cute Ritz crackers. This just makes it really easy. Fantastic. Love that. You know what? The the Ritz cracker really works on all of these. Especially uh -huh. this one because it gives it that kind of buttery flavor. Yeah, no, loving it. Okay, so how's our um, our cheeseburger doing? You ready? It's doing really <laughs> well. <laughs> it's doing really well. It's deadly crispy bacon, right? It's gonna kind of get in there. As soon as you do the turn, I'm a big sucker for American cheese. Yeah. You know, like, listen, I try to eat as healthy as I possibly can when I'm not wrapping burgers and bacon. <laughs> So American um, cheese is basically that it's processed cheese, right? Well, let's not be that hard on it. This is the more expensive <laughs> processed cheese. But like, there's certain things in life where you need this type of cheese. Like, I understand, you know what I mean? like a like grilled cheese sandwich. Certain, I get like, it. You know exactly what's going okay, on. Okay, we're gonna continue doing the recipes, yep. but um, I, come on in here, guys. Uh, we have no coffee happening, but that's okay because no, there's a cheeseburger being done Look on a Ritz cracker, this. and it's all good.
So we've done the cheeseburgers. We did the croque monsieur. You can see right there the king crab bomb uh, sauce, with sauce. A little bit of radicchio. And that's oh. the BLT. This is the BLT with that's crispy BLT. bacon. Go check out the recipes at cityline.com because I've been working so hard on my crackling. <laughs> And yeah. my game is tight, so yeah. I'll share that with you. We did want to show, share the crackling game, and also it's cityline.ca, <laughs> so you can check it out and get all of the recipes today. Thanks so much, guys, for all Look your contributions. That. It was great.